are going to talk about the JDBC. So before moving to the actual topic of the JDBC, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about little bit about the database. So we'll begin with the talking about query processing system in the database. So here in this slide, you can see whenever I use or I typed any query through the command uh, SQL command line, the query is actually executed by the database engine. So here in this case, I'm using a simple query select star from employee table one. So I want to retry all the records from the employee one relation. So whenever I enter this come enter this query, the query will be handled by the database engine. In turns, database engine is having four phases, namely query tokenization, query parsing, query optimization, query execution. So this query is passed through all these phases. So when the query passed through the first phase, that is query tokenization, it actually creates the stream of token. It divides the given query into the token and provide the stream of token. So for our given query, uh, there are different tokens for select star from EMP. Select is first token, then star is second token, then from is third token, and the relation name that is EMP1 is a last token. So now this stream of token is passed to the query parsing phase. So for the query parsing phase, this, uh, these tokens are formed into the tree. So query parsing take the stream of token and create a query tree. So this query tree is actually helps us to find if is is there any error in the query or not. If if there is any error, then appropriate message will be displayed on the command line. Okay. So after getting the query tree through the query parsing phase, this tree is again passed to the passed to the to the query optimization for the further optimization of the tree. So after getting the query uh, query tree query optimization perform some optimization mechanism to minimize the tree. So what query optimization achieves over here is through this optimization optimization mechanism we efficiently uh, execute the query and even we reduce some time also so after all these things the optimized query tree is passed to the query execution okay this query execution will execute the query and appropriate results will be displayed on your console okay so this is how the process is run so here just we have to understand the flow of query processing from the JDBC point of view we must know the query process processing so in very in in a number of occasions we are going to come across the query processing system so we must know the flow of query processing in this tutorial okay so thank you